Hi everyone, it's Rain with A La Cuisine LLC and today I want to talk a little bit about aprons. Um, it used to be so common to see women wearing aprons when they were going about their household um, duties and chores and things like that. Um, I'm sure that most of us have memories of mothers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers always having their apron on when they were home and um, it, it was just such a crucial thing and somehow along the way we stopped really wearing them and it, it, it became not something that a lot of uh, emphasis was put on. So I want to talk a little bit today about how they can make your life easier. Um, and and just to take some of the stress out of it. Uh, I wear aprons every day when I'm home and I'm doing things around the house, no matter what it is, if I'm cooking, cleaning, if I'm doing crafts with my daughter, it does not matter. I have an apron on and it protects my clothes. Uh, I'm a big advocate of looking presentable always and um, I feel like when you dress well, you feel better, you're ready for the day, you're, um, you're ready if a last minute opportunity comes up, you're ready if you realize that you just ran out of milk and you need it for tonight's dinner, you don't have to get dressed and you know throw on makeup and do your hair and everything else to go to the store, you're ready. And it really, it just makes you feel better. You know, if um, you have last minute guests, you're ready. It's just, it, it's so much less stressful to, um, to get dressed first thing in the morning, no matter what you have planned. Even if your day is just going to be to take your things around the house. When you're dressed, you're just more motivated. You're, you're ready for challenges. Your self-esteem and, and self-confidence just really show through um, your self-love. And um, so those are just such important things. But when you're wearing your nice clothes, um, then you have to worry about getting things on them. And aprons just um, completely take that problem out of the equation. And you, there are so many different styles depending on um, what your normal day-to-day -day looks like. There are full aprons, there are um, just aprons from the waist down. You can get aprons that have uh, sleeves and that I guess are more like a smock. You can get all different kinds, so you can find ones that fit your lifestyle and allow you to be able to take pride in your appearance and um, still do all the things that you need to do. And this is one I actually got for Christmas, and it's really cute and it has a pocket here, so I'm wearing this one today. Um, but I do have several. I have um, holiday ones. I have uh, different coverage for different things and different days. It is good to have a small assortment so that if one does get heavily soiled you can um, change into another one or when you're doing laundry you have other ones to wear as well so you're not hindered in that way. So um, that's definitely something to keep in mind and they have them in all different price ranges now so um, you can find ones that are really inexpensive or you can splurge on um, a very fancy uh, apron that is almost like a dress itself so you can have fun with it too and um, that's, that's definitely something that should be a goal. You, you shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be something that you put on that um, you're going to feel like is like a ball and chain associated with what you're doing. It should be something fun um, that you look forward to wearing, that you feel pretty or cute or whatever in. So uh, however that style best suits you is um, is the aprons that you should try to get. 
and um, I, I actually I don't own any house clothes per se so I, I dress in the clothes that I would normally wear to go somewhere every morning when I get up and then if I am running errands I'm ready and if I'm going to be doing things at the house I pick out the apron that I want to wear and I put it on over my clothes and I know that I'm protected so I hope that uh, this insight has helped you and uh, if you don't already wear aprons I hope that you will consider it and take a look at some of the options that are available and if you already wear aprons I would love to hear about your experiences with them and whether or not you enjoy it and um, if anybody has any fun or cute or gorgeous aprons that they would uh, like to share I would love to hear about those as well and please check out uh, my blog the link is below and I did write an article on this as well I hope that you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up as well and I can't wait to see you next time thank you so much